Greetings to you again. Um, I always love to give story. I love story, give story. But I love to give um, like true story, yeah? Um, you know, Saturday I was out and I come in. I come in about like about 12 o'clock. And when I come, I have... Um, yes, I come inside the bakery here. Yeah, and I have a miggle door. Let me see if I can get the camera turn. Yes, I have a miggle door. And... I didn't turn on any light. I just um, stay at the back there. And um, I locked the middle door. And I was around here, I was a little bit quiet, you know? And um, then I hear a little grumbling at the front, around at the front here. And I listen again and I hear a grumbling again. And I look through, I look through next to the door. I didn't open the door. I look through, and when I look, I see a gentleman down the bottom here. And I say, Mister, wait, what are you doing here? And he make a shout out, and he start to run. And I open the door, quick, 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 quick. And I run after him, but he, he get enough chance, you know. He get enough time for him to run, yeah? Because the door wouldn't open so fast. And I run after him. And the funny thing about it, <laughs> him turn right and me turn left. <laughs> but the <laughs> funny thing about it, you know, these people are very low because, you know, I'm here and things not too bright and I haven't put up sign begging something to just to keep this place going, you know. And I am here like to support people as well. So when they come in and break the place and such like, you know, it's not good because you know when I'm giving you know it could be his mother it could be his father it could be his his brother it could be his cousin you know we are here for all of them so you know why you want to come in the shop and break and all in all you're getting just 15 pound just for 15 pound you know so as I say and when I look, when I look today again, I have a charity, like a cup, so um, like a pan out there where people put in a pound and sometimes if they give me a pound, I would put 50 pence and take a, a, a 50 pence on myself. And all of that, the guy gone. He don't have no conscience because when you look on the, you know, it's like a charity box for, for African people, the poor people in Africa, you know. And some of the image that they show on the buckle, you know, I believe one of the girls don't have no hands. One of them have no feet. And you can see where they're suffering. How can you steal, how can you steal from, you know, people like those? You see a image like that and you still steal it. Maybe I did take out the money out of it and put it somewhere so I can give it to my church sister if send it off to them, yeah? So it was not a lot in there, but maybe it could be about maybe about six pound or seven pound or something like that in there. And he still take take it man, you know. And it really sad for me, man, because when you look on an image like that, somebody have no hands, somebody have one eye, somebody have no feet, and you steal from that person, man. Oh, oh, oh you're gonna be blessed. Oh you're gonna be blessed, man. Sad, sad. I can't feel good about that man. Can't feel good. Oh god. Ah. Okay. Alright, thank you very very much for your help and your support. Thank you very much for listening to me. And if you always listen to this man, I will always, you know, say some nice positive things for you, yeah? Because I want you to learn. You know, we will learn together, yeah? And because I grow in Jamaica, I learn so much. You know, I learn so much, yeah? And I have so much to, to talk to you as well, yeah? And God bless you. And thank you very much for your good comments. Bless you. Thank you. Bye-bye.